What is up, guys? Um, <clears throat> it is a. Uh, <laughs> it's it's really hard for me to, to talk right now. My throat is uh, super sore, as you can hear. It's a uh, right now. It's two days. It's a uh, Tuesday. Two days since the concert. Um. Yeah, I, I kind of went hard, a little too hard. <laughs> I was uh up close for about you know eight hours just screaming. My voice is gone. <laughs> I uh, pretty much posted up at Shine both days. Man, what what a festival! I mean, I I kind of like the uh, the first lineup, the first year better, just because I kind of knew them more. But this one had a wide variety of artists, which I definitely enjoy, and I'm really proud that they have a, a whole lot of bathrooms all throughout which was kind of feasible because I know like last year that was a problem and uh man speaking of bathroom I was uh dead center for nine hours I mean yeah I got there like 1 30 on Sunday and I actually ended up giving up my extra VIP ticket because um for some reason I don't know just the people that I offered my ticket to uh couldn't attend from North Carolina like my inner circle or the people I asked okay you know cool so I went up to Twitter and I gave a little giveaway and someone from uh, New York said, can I get a ticket? And I was like, all right, sure. So we met up at the uh, entrance. <laughs> Man, my voice, my, bear with me, my voice is uh, terrible. <clears throat> so I, I gave him a uh, little ticket, hung out for like a quick little few minutes and it was like, all right, peace. I gotta go get you the stage. You gotta get my spot. And I met up with uh, one other person we were hanging out the other day, Saturday, dead center, vibing together. And yeah, that's pretty much, I, I, I didn't move at all. I, I ate a little bit and then I didn't drink that much at all. And I stayed right there all the way up to uh, nine o'clock, nine o'clock, uh, 45 minutes before J. Cole. Man, I started feeling this uh, sensation that I had to pee but that was like not the time for that like but behind me it was already jam-packed everybody's like waiting for j cole and i was too you know i was like f basically four rows of bodies or people behind the front stage and i was like i i can't do it but in my head i'm thinking in my head i'm thinking like i gotta go i'm, I'm about to dap everybody up that i know right here i've been chilling with them for eight hours but it's like all right guys i can't make it but luckily the last 45 minutes um the three people to my right decided to kill some time and started to uh, talk about random subjects like, yo, which album was J. Cole's top? What's J. Cole's top five mixtapes? What's J. Cole's favorite storytelling songs? And let me know down below what your favorite is. But that, that's like how we kill time, you know? Otherwise, you're just like staying in there. It was like, you know, because if you're at Shine all day, you're there. And then 30 minutes goes by, you got Rise performing, and then you got somebody over here, and then you gotta wait another 30 minutes over there. So <laughs> it's a lot of like in between moments if you're standing at one side. And at some point, you know, you kind of sit down, some people stand up, but about like 7.30, 8 o'clock, there was like too many people you couldn't stand down. But yeah, luckily, <laughs> about like 9.30, 9.40, that sensation went away because uh, my mind was distracted. We were just talking about uh, different projects of J. Cole's from a whole bunch of mutual fans that were really hardcore. And man, you know, that was incredible. Uh, we were kind of, we were assuming maybe Drake or Jay-Z, you know, that's kind of reach might pop out as a surprise guest, but seeing all the Dreamville artists pop out all at once, except for Jid, he was uh, on tour somewhere else. That was really dope. And man, J.I.D., the, the stick that was incredible <laughs> stick like oh I, I, man <clears throat> on top of your lungs and on top of that man uh another one of my top favorite performers that i saw was uh t-pain man I, I never saw him live and he brought all the throwbacks i kind of wish i could hear him without the autotune because i heard he's a dope singer nonetheless but still like he did walk it out. He did buy you a drink. I'm a boss. Good life, you know. 
all the classics and you know even the little dance in the middle too super dope but i will say you know it's my second uh time at dreamville my only festival that i've been to but man uh they did have enough like food concessions and i love the art they had but you know those, those prices of food were really high like i was walking out the second day and i saw like nine dollars for a big slice of pizza i'm like nine dollars jeez you know, I'm, I'm not used to festival prices, but that was like insane. <laughs> Other than that, you know, if, if you've never been to uh, North Carolina, you definitely should have checked out a cookout. Like Eve was saying, you know, you get not really for three dollars, but it's about like six dollars and it's an incredible amount of stuff. And it's really dope again what this festival did. Got so many people here. I was shopping up uh, one guy from uh, Cleveland and he's like maybe somewhat conservative moving out here. And then someone else said like how beautiful it is out here. So yeah, definitely ch come check it out if you can. It's a beautiful little area, Raleigh. Appreciate y'all for coming. If you did come by and you're watching this video, hope you guys enjoy the previous stuff that I posted, concert recaps. And uh, yeah, right now I'm about to show you guys some of my favorite footage or like uh, pictures I took. And I also shot on like a 35 millimeter film camera. I'm currently as this is like being recorded, I'm waiting for my uh, development to come back from the lab. I shot it on a Cinecell 800T on my Olympus Stylus. Yo, what's up guys? It is now Friday. Uh, my voice does sound a whole lot better. And I just, before I show my shots, I just want to share these other shots I took on my phone with uh, the point of view that I had, which came out great too, you know? But I'm really stoked for you guys to see my uh, 35 millimeter shots. They came out great on the Olympus Stylus Zoom point and shoot camera, which I was allowed to have at the concert. And I shot it with Cine Still 800T, a ton of balance film. And uh, yeah, definitely check these shots out. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, thanks for rocking with me. Let me know what your favorite shot was or your favorite moment at the festival. And until next one, you know, Keep on dreaming, dreamer.